We just got a package from Sika. So we got our new, um, our whole new saddle setup. I've uh, something I want to try new this year, and uh, after purchasing all this stuff, I was like, "What the hell am I going to do with all of it?" So of course, Sika, they got backpacks. saddle setup whole brand new this is something i'm new i'm trying this year a lot of my buddies went to uh saddle hunting and uh last year it kind of sparked my enthusiasm with it i uh, went and checked it out at eastern Woods outdoors hunter's den uh it's a video you could see uh prior um when i went and bought my bow and uh i bought it one ever since so we'll do a whole other video on that whole setup here but after going to pick this stuff up from hunter's den eastern Woods outdoors i had no place to put it so we went to Sika and we got our pack. So I'm pretty excited about this thing. This is the Apex, uh, Apex pack. It's got the Ultima or Altafade, Optifade, Subalpine. Okay, you can go over Optifade. So it's got, looks like it's got a ton of pockets. Uh, I don't know a ton about it. So that's why I wanted to do a review on it. Uh, we're gonna basically go over this together. Uh, one thing I am seeing obviously is a lot of, uh, a lot of pockets. Uh, big areas. Um, I do like this right here with the way this is set up with a uh, waistband. So that is one thing when you're carrying a lot out. Um, it gets to be a lot. Uh, especially with the weight and uh, while you're carrying a bunch of other stuff like a blind or anything like that. If you're doing a ground blind, if you got to carry it in and out. Especially like turkey season and whatnot, this would be nice too. Just have a nice bigger backpack. But that right there, that chest strap for long walks and carrying all the stuff is really nice. And obviously you got your waist, keeps it off, keeps it nice and taut. Cause almost positive we can put our bow on it. So we're gonna give that a try as well. But the only thing I can see is, I guess, yeah, this does loosen up a little bit. It's a little tight. I'm not, I'm one that doesn't like stuff up on my neck here. I don't know, I, I hate that. Pocket sizes seem to be pretty good. The, the pack itself overall is actually pretty light. I'll try to put a uh, actual weight of that on there if anybody does care. So I see packets, bags all inside of here. Nice, you know, you can like, some more snacks. You know, that's the big thing I'm about is, you know, you always gotta have room for snacks. I'm always hungry. If I'm hungry <clears throat> and there's no snacks to eat, I'm out, I'm out. I gotta have snacks. It's really important. So nice deep backpack. It's got like two different layers inside here. A divider there we got little uh side pouches here which are nice so there's definitely ample room for just about anything you want to put in this so one thing i do see is nice too is looks like for a tree hanger you can go up over top of something clip into here so your backpack can hang i hope that's strong enough looks like it maybe or you can just hook through here onto a, you know, like a tree hook or whatever it be. So we got all kinds of straps here. Uh, if you do carry a lot of weight, looks like it's got good uh, back support on it. They're pretty, they're pretty stout, uh, thick. They kind of feel like a foamy, like a real thick foam uh, that goes all the way around your hips. Kind of hugs you pretty good. So these big, Big pockets here are actually pretty cool. So you can fit a lot of stuff in them. We like tater tots. Finish up the uh, backpack review video. Uh, one thing we got out of it, it's got a lot of nice pockets. It does have the, um, I don't have my bow here with me, but here on this one side here, you pull this, you can put the bottom of your cam in the um, cam of your bow. Uh, put it through there, it takes the pressure off the bow itself um, if you're just staying in or you're walking at a slow pace and then you can open this up here and uh, pull it back up in there there's a strap that's inside here kind of neat again big pockets throughout um, I was really hoping my bow would fit on this and I'm sure you can make it work but I'm not gonna mess with it for one bow costs way too much money it falls off the backpack and we got some issues so uh, I think I will be doing with it again 
real reason I bought this was for the saddle setup. And everything does fit on here, which is nice. Um, comfortable, very comfortable. Yeah, comfortable, right? Comfortable. Words are hard today. So we got them all strapped on there. Uh, stays right on there, good, real nice. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. So we're gonna go take a walk and we're gonna go check out the uh, some of the other parts of the property here. Uh, we haven't been back there in a long time, uh, since ice fishing season. So uh, let's go take a walk and see what we got going on back there. All right, uh, found a tree. Uh, this one property we're, we're on here is 90% pines. So obviously pine trees have a lot of uh, off branches. Uh, I did find one tree that I would actually, actually two right here I could see, that would be good for uh, the saddle setup. So we found a tree here good enough. We're gonna try out our new, uh, um, saddle setup uh, we got from Eastern Woods Outdoors, also Hunter's Den in Lapeer, Michigan. Uh, some great products. I went with the One Stick, the Ultimate One Stick, with uh, and it's got three aiders on it for uh, climbing. So I have yet to even try it. Show me how to use it. Uh, we're not going to go up high because I am by myself. Um, something happens, I can shimmy my way back down the tree. So we should be good. Uh, the one thing I'm not used to is the repelling. Uh, we're going to give it a try though. So bear with me here. So right here, what I think I like is this holds the uh, <clears throat> holds your aiders. Hopefully, I'm saying that pro properly. So if you guys are saddle guys and I'm saying it wrong, go ahead and make fun of me. All you want, alt tomato. <laughs> That's what that says. But uh, get me with a one stick platform. Uh, so we have to repel. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this, but uh, let's give it a try. Uh, saddle we went with the uh, cruiser XC So let's get this bad boy on here. You can undo the uh, leg straps pretty easily but uh, I have a setup so that I can uh, Easily slip it on There a bridge here so nice and comfortable. I have um, I have been on the so at Eastern Woods Outdoors they do have a spot where you can try these on you know hang from the uh, the poles they have mounted in the shop there which is really nice because you can actually see how comfortable these things are. Got our rope here with our safeguard by Madrock Madrock safeguard. So what's nice here is our uh, our rope rappel rope has at the bottom here a spot where you can bring your bow up, uh, bring anything up you need to, uh, right at the bottom here. All right, I'll bring this over here. So this is our rope going up here, and then we have our med rock and so obviously here's our brake so this would release and we'd keep this down here and that would re release us One thing we did forget, the rope that you take down when you get all the way up there, you hook this up on the edge here, and then you can unhook your rope and your rope will fall down the tree. Because that was the question I had was like, how do I get my rope back down? Or does it just stay there? <laughs> That's the things that go through my mind. So I'm gonna leave the backpack down here. I'll just put this in my pocket and uh, we should be good. It is a little sketchy. So the other trick behind this is you come over to the other side of the tree here, you hug this, 
and then grab, grab your platform here. So it's got this little notch in it right here. It's designed to put the pressure on it. On there, so the rope's not rubbing on the platform itself. Whew. So it's not too bad. And up here, so you hook this, this line right up here on the opposite side of your carabiner here so that um, once you get down, you can pull the rope down the tree. So hopefully that'll work. We'll see how it uh, how it goes down, but let's get our, let's get down from here. We're only up about 12 feet. Not bad coming down. Right. So now all we got to do is supposedly grab this. Oh, that works good. You can pull your rope down. It works good. All I know is if you forgot to put this on up there, you'd have a really hard time getting your. Uh, your rope down, there's a, there's a deer right over there watching me. Doe, young doe, yearling. Let's get out of here. So I'm gonna leave this on here because I had a hard time remembering how to put this on. So I'll just leave that right on there. I don't see an issue with leaving it on there by any means. Set it down in there. Lots and lots of room in this, this bag. And this bad boy. Yeah, I wrapped it the wrong way. So what? <laughs> so your eaters, you just uh, go in this pocket here. Down there, perfect. So, all in all, it's just going to take some more practice. I'll get out here a few more times. Uh, I'm going to try to find a new tree that's not in my hunting area. Because, like I said, I just had a yearling doe. She's gone now, um, sitting over there watching me. So, uh, I don't want to spook up my area, put a bunch of sun out here. So we will uh, we'll try to find some other trees we can practice on. It's just practice makes perfect, especially with something like this. You want to be efficient with it. So let's uh, let's get back up to the truck and uh, get out of here.